Hey, what's going on, comic book friends? It's Jimmy C. What do we got today? Uh, I got a batch I got from a comic book store in North Jersey. Uh, some stuff from the show. Uh, a kind act. I got an eBay purchase or two. Well, actually, a Facebook purchase. Nothing on eBay. And I got two books back from uh, CBCS, finally. I knew I saw pigs flying. Uh, even though they're supposed to send everything together, because I told them send it all and, and I'll pay shipping once. But, of course, they don't listen and they send something. But that's an argument for another day with them. But anyway, let's kick it off. So I, I found out through the Facebook grapevine that this store is closing in North Jersey. So they have massive sales. Like, um, you know, books from the last six months are going for a dollar. Um, everything uh, like Silver Age and Bronze Age is half price. So I went to this store and there's like a young college girl there and I spoke to her for a few minutes because they have like a little bit like they, they have a downstairs like there's like five steps to go down to the back and then there's a bunch of other books there and I asked her I said hey can I go down there and look at books she goes that's storage I said that's great can I go down there and look at books she goes sir that's storage I said uh, clearly there's a language barrier can I go into storage and look at your books to see if I want to buy any. Because they have a lot of books down there. And the place is going out of business. So obviously they want to sell everything. She goes, no, you can't go down there. That's storage. I said, oh, I claro. Now I understand. So right there I knew she was an idiot. So she's programmed. Everything on the wall is a dollar. You know, current books. And anything in the drawers is silver or bronze. And that's half price. But there were four boxes in the back that were like untouched. And I went through these, and they were all bra They were all twelve and fifteen cent books. Nothing to write home about, but like, hey, twelve and fifteen cent books. So I'm looking through them, and I'm like, you know, let me go talk to her. So I said, hey, miss, those boxes back there, how much? She's like, oh, I don't know. I said, listen, if I buy a bunch, dollar each. She goes, yeah, that's fine, whatever, because the boss didn't program her to tell her what to do about those books. So I just took charge, and I got them all for a dollar. So. Let's kick it off. So we started with this. Forever People, eh, mid-grade, but, you know, second, it's uh, number two, a dollar. Got Anthro, number one, 12 cent for a dollar. I mean, it's like a $20 book on a good day, but hey, for a dollar. Anthro, number two. So mind you, like, I know I'm getting over on them, but you know what? I went up to her. I said, how much? Blah, blah, blah. She said a dollar. I said, oh, boom, I'm done. I'm in. But I know, like... I'm like trying to race through these boxes because I know if the boss comes back, this is getting shut down. There's no way he's letting these books go for a dollar. But hey, she said okay. So it's like keep looking at books, trying to grab more and more shit. But also I'm racing against the clock because God knows if the boss is going to come in. Is he gone fishing? The place is closing. He doesn't care. Or is he coming in today? You never know. So it was a double-edged sword. What I should have done is clean up, cash out put the stuff in my car, and then go back in. But I got so tired, and I didn't, I didn't want to be bothered. They were pumping the heat in there, and, you know, kneeling and digging through books. It's tiring. I don't know about you guys, but, you know, after an hour or two hours, I'm winded. Anyway, let's move on. Brave and the Bold, Strange Sports. There's a little ship there, 12 cent. But, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to I'm not gonna beat a dead horse, but a dollar. I, all these books are a dollar. I'm not going to say it again. That's it. House of Mystery. You know, you know, it's got no no significance. Then grab some flashes. You know, they're you know they're all lower lower to mid grade, but flash one eighty eight, another flash, another flash. Moved on. Got a little Lois Lane, Bride of Batman, another Lois Lane. Really clean, nice copy for a white background. Uh, let me. Okay, what else? Keep it moving. Got some Super Boys. Yeah, it, it should, it, they're complete. They're attached. You know what? Like, you know, I was watching uh, Omega and Lightning. They're buying on Atomic. They're like $5 Silver Age issues and significant all day. I agree with them. So for a dollar, never mind $5, for a dollar, all friggin' day, every day of the week. Uh, Superboy 94. Superboy 103. And then, you know, it got a little bit better. Uh... What else? Then we got promoted. Got Strange Tales. It's got a big fat 13 over there, which is annoying, but whatever. For a buck. Tales of Suspense. Uh, number 90. Another one. Cap 86. We've got a little World's Finest. 
Superman, Batman. Got a little Tales to Astonish. We're mixing it up, you know. There was some, there was some, not gold, but at least you know, copper. If you know, you're talking about like you know, the, uh, elements or whatnot. Uh, here, mixed it up. Grabbed a, a modern book in there. Miss Marvel. I just saw Must Have, and I saw Deadpool. This is actually um, stories thirty nine to forty one together, but whatever, you know. What else do we get? Oh, oh, nice. Some nice, uh, boop, boop, boop. A little bondage alert. Lois Lane. They had two more of these, but they were a little beat up. Uh, I should have grabbed everything. But this is a cool Lois Lane bondage. Another Lois Lane bondage. Third Lois Lane bondage. And then this book, you know, a couple of you guys, one of you guys mentioned it. I forget who. I think Omega. But, uh, they had three of them. I grabbed the two best ones, and I gave one to my friend George, the dealer. Uh, super, it's, you know, first appearance of Aqua Boy, a dollar, my god, yeah, all day. I'd rather buy this than a lotto ticket. Uh, what else? Oh, so then, uh, oh, I grabbed this too, first Tigra for a dollar. So, um, and then I grabbed a run, I'm gonna show you the picture, because I actually went to the show. I grabbed a run of Bronze Age Captain Americas. I don't know if you can see the picture. Yeah, let me show you, like, right there. So, it was, like, issue, like, 120 to, like, 140. I grabbed about 15 of them. You could see. I kept this one, and I plucked one or two others. And, and uh, oh, I kept this one, too. This is the origin of MODOK. So then I had 15 issues of Captain America, all, all about fine grade. So at the, at the Jersey shows, I told you I've been attending, they have auctions. So I threw 15. They didn't sell all day. Nobody looked at them once. So I said, you know what? Let me throw them in the auction. I paid 15 bucks, 15, 15 Captain Americas. But, you know, all decent ones from, you know, issue 120 to 140 or so, so on. Went for 32 bucks. So I doubled my money, but like, screw it, man. It should have went for like at least $50. But you know what? It's an auction. What are you going to do? And it went to like this cool girl. Who were like she's really into comics. It went. It didn't go to like some little snake who like just tries to rook people. So I'm happy it went to a good person. Anyway, moving on. Uh, what did I grab? I grabbed on Facebook, and I'm so happy because I just heard like the show's announced or something or other. I grabbed this. Uh, yeah, pretty good copy. I mean, I would say a seven point five. Grabbed it for forty bucks shipped on eBay. This guy sent it to me. Like, he shipped it from Fort Knox. It was amazing. He shipped it in a envelope of bubble wrap, in in a box, in a top loader, in a nice bag and board. Just this alone. In a, yeah, my light, you know? Like, I can't, I can't say enough, enough good things about this guy. Like, just the shipping alone and packaging and the top loader cost him, like, $10. So I got this book for really 30 bucks, but whatever. And uh, my good friend George I've been mentioning to you guys, he actually gave me a little gift uh, I don't know why. Maybe he did something to me and I don't know about it. But, uh, overall, he's a great guy and he gave me this just for, like, you know, I give him tips once in a while. I'll grab a book for him or I'll let him know what's going on. And, you know, we banter. We have some fun. But he knows I needed this forever. And he gr he grabbed three copies of this high grade for 60 bucks, And he sold two of them. And he knows I want this one. And, you know, I always try to lowball him, try to get it for, for what he paid, 20 bucks. And he never goes for it. And then one day, and then uh, the last show, he just gave it to me. So really, thank you, George, man. Uh, it's really nice of you. I have issues two, three, and four in super high grade, and I just needed this one, and now now I got it. So I was joking with him. It was all part of my master plan to make friends with him, and now I could dump him and now kick him to the curb. But, uh, you know, we had a laugh about that. Okay, moving on. So, uh... Oh, I'll show you what I got from CBCS. So they got like 27 books. Finally, they gave me two back, but they're supposed to send them all back to me together. So I'm going to argue with them once they're done. I don't want to I don't want to ruffle their feathers while they're grading my books. You know what I mean? So I got back friggin' uh, my first Absorbing Man. Bullshit. 3.5. You know, Jay and Guy, if you're watching, I would love for you to get your copy graded by CBCS that I because, you know, I sold it to you. Because, you know, not for nothing, I thought I kept a better copy. I'd love to see what you get if you get the same grade, higher or lower, just for, you know, shits and giggles. But I think I think they grade way too hard. Like, in my opinion, this is a 5.0, this book. Look at it. They're, they're... Look, there's no spine ticks. It's just a little rough. Oh, the phone doesn't focus. But, like, you know, for a book that's 50 years old, 
Come on. The back is fine. I'm not going to, like, flip it around and go crazy. It's off-white to white pages. Like, how is this not a 5.0? So, like, I'm a little annoyed. I'm not going to lose sleep over it, but you know what? Screw them. And... And I got my Spidey 6.5. I got this book for 20 bucks, so I can't cry. 6.5 is okay, but, you know, yet again, you know, I thought a 7.5, easy. You know, the top's a little rough, but look, look. There's no, there's no, like, there's no, like, you know, super wear and tear. Like, come on, give the kid a break. Anyway, so let's hope it gets better from there. So, at the show... There's a dealer, you know, I deal with these two guys. They're Frank and Frank. Really nice guys. I've gotten my Trickster from them. I've gotten, you know, a bunch of stuff. They had a box to it uh, at the last show. Thank God I went there, like, really fast, like, and early. I find once in a while if I go to a dealer that no one's going to and I look through the stuff, I find other people start going there, which is annoying. I don't know why. But anyway, I went to the, their box. They had a $5 box, and look what I grabbed. Like, thank God I was there first. I finally got this book. It's beat to shit, but I got it, and now I can just work on upgrading it. But I got my uh, Journey into Mystery 103. It's a horrible condition, but this box, everything was five bucks. So, like, how could you let it go? Like, it, it's horrible. It's destroyed, but you know what? At least I can look at it and say I got it. So, five bucks. Like, oh, my God. They, I could have spent a hundred bucks just in this box, but, like, I had to take it easy because it was the beginning of the day. I got a decent copy, first Ulick, uh, you know, the troll guy. Got an early issue of Hulk, 105. Got a got a pretty decent copy of this. I got one already that's beat up that uh, George swindled me into. He traded with me. He screwed me. But now I got a nicer copy, Death, the first, first Deathlock. And then I got uh, Fantastic Four Annual Number 3, the wedding of, you know, Sue and Reed. I mean, none of them are in great shape, but, you know, a couple of them, you know, the Deathlock's in decent shape, the Hulk's in okay shape, Thor's okay, not great, but, like, $5 each, how how could you just leave these there? It's like, you know, a puppy staring at you in the window. You can't say no. Okay, uh, what next? Uh, you know, this is a short one. I only got a couple more. So, the dealers across from, uh... Like, George sets up the show, and, like, I, I have a box or two, and, like, I just hang out with him for the day. So there was a family set up across from us, and they're not really at the shows often. So I said, you know what? Let me go look at their stuff. They had this on the wall. First Power Girl. This is my second copy. They had this on the wall. So I said, how much for that? $18. I said, oh, my God. They're crazy. Because, you know, it's in decent shape. Wound up, uh, you know me. You know me. Got it for 11 bucks. I offered him 10 I saw him flinch. I said, you know what? I got $11 on me. And I just, I just stuck it in his hand. And he said, okay. I could tell. I knew. I knew. I knew. Uh, I knew it was golden. So then they had a ton of... They had a bunch of boxes under the table. And one thing about these comic shows, some people are lazy. So, like, they're right next to our booth, like, facing us. I said, you know what? No one's going under the table looking at their boxes. Let me freaking go, like, dig. Because, I'm, you know, I'm there doing nothing. And I... Uh, I grabbed two things. I, I, oh, I, I went to their S-Box. So I grabbed this. And actually, George put me onto this a while ago. If you guys, be on the lookout for this book. This book is never really in. If you see a Star Wars run, this book's always missing. This is the first time Darth Vader and Luke meet in comic books. Yeah, you know, like, you wouldn't think of something stupid like that. But, you know, that's what that's the best, the beauty of having a friend uh, you, you deal with or a dealer. Like, he knows certain shit you don't know and vice versa. So we learn from each other. So I think that's a key book. First time Darth Vader meets Luke in person. So I grabbed that. It was three bucks. And then look what else they had. Look what else they had in there, which you never see. But you always got to look and see if it's there. And then even better, look at how much they had it for. See, I don't lie. Two bucks. Two bucks. You, I had to bite my tongue when I was paying for this. I, I, it, I had, it, it was so hard to keep a straight face because as soon as I was done paying, I had to turn around and stick it in my friend George's face. And that's like the beauty of it. Like I enjoy that even more than buying the book at like a ridiculous price. First Boba Fett, $2. All in, Jimmy C. And last but not least, you know, it's a short one. I just wanted to, you know, make a video. I went to the dealer, uh, and I got these three books from him. Super High Grade, Black Panther number two, Sandman, 
number one. I had to get another one because I got it in the last, in my last video, I got one for like $6, but there was a stain over here and it drove me nuts. You know, this is Kirby. And I got Origin of Blade. You know, pretty nice copy. So these three books, got them for uh, 25 bucks. Yeah, so like he, had, if there's an X, yeah, so 8, 8, that's 16. 16, 26, 36, but you know, if you buy from him, like, you know, I'm a regular, he'll always give you a good price, so, hey, 30, 25 bucks for, uh, Sandman 1, a nice high grade, uh, Origin of Blade, and Black Panther number 2, uh, that's about it, uh, thanks again to George giving me that Wolverine, you, you know, you, you don't complete me, but you complete my series, so, uh, that's about that. And uh, that's it, guys. Hope you're having a great weekend. Um, I really got I got I got a couple of books coming in the mail, but nothing crazy. Just uh, like two or three books. But uh, to be continued. That'll be on the next haul. Hope everyone's doing good. And uh, GBC out.